Tuesday, the 19th of March, 2024. Welcome to Capital News, where we take a look at the day's top stories. President William Ruto has assured potential buyers under the government's new affordable housing plan of flexible deposits. Following concerns that the requirement would discourage the number of individuals participating in the program, he says that the purchase application will be considered on a case-by-case -case approach. During public and stakeholder submissions to the National Assembly Committee on Finance, residents in Homa Bay stated that axing the requirement would make the program more accessible and inclusive, increase participation, and ensure broader access to affordable housing opportunities for a larger segment of the population. <laughs> Individuals seeking to be allocated an affordable housing unit had been required to provide proof of a requisite deposit of at least 10% of the value of the affordable housing unit being applied for. Other requirements include copies of the individual's national identity card and copies of Kenya Revenue Authority personal identification number certificates. President Ruto assented to the affordable housing law paving way for the reinstatement of housing levy deductions. This means the 1.5% tax form for both the employee and the employer will take effect at the end of the month. 20% of the housing units will be social houses. 50% will be affordable houses. That means the people who, are in the, who earn 20,000 and above, they will have an, a 50% chance to own houses in our affordable housing uh, program and 30 percent will be the people in the middle class or the people uh, further up the ladder so in this affordable housing program there is a chance for every kenyan those who want bigger houses will have an opportunity to get it those who want affordable houses will have an opportunity to get it and those who want social houses will have an opportunity to get it. Interior Cabinet Secretary Kithure Kandike has linked the death toll from the recent spate of road accidents in the country to the one registered during the COVID-19 pandemic between 2020 to 2021. Kandike said that road traffic accidents are competing with epidemics in terms of number of people losing their lives, terming it a huge problem. He cited three accidents that occurred on Monday in different parts of the country that led to the loss of life of more than 19 people, terming the loss of life as alarming. Meanwhile, operators under the Long Distance Drivers and Conductors Association have called for leadership changes at the National Transport and Safety Authority over the failure to implement road safety reforms. In a statement issued hours after multiple road crashes across the country left at least 18 people dead, the lobby faulted NTSA for failing to implement reforms agreed upon by the multi-agency committee which proposed corrective measures to address road carnage. The lobby singled out effective enforcement of regulatory requirements as key to averting crash-related fatalities on Kenyan roads. We are coming out with a nationwide law enforcement measures against traffic offenses against drunk driving, against unroadworthy vehicles, and also we will be very, very firm with all road users so that we all observe traffic rules and save the number of our people that we are losing every day from road traffic accidents. Idadi ya wa Kenya ambao wanakufa kwa sababu ya ajali ya barabarani ni takribani watu elfu nne kila mwaka. Mwaka uliopita tumepoteza watu elfu tatu miatisa. Mwaka wa elfu mbili shirina mbili tumepoteza watu elfu ine miasita na hamsini. Katika mwaka mmoja. Mwaka huu zaidi ya watu elfu moja tayari wamekufa. Barabarani. Idadi hii ndiyo hata nyingi kuliko ya wale watu tumepoteza katika majanga makubwa. Ikiwemo lile jango, janga la COVID-19. And finally, the Judicial Service Commission has settled on Frida Mokaya as the Chief Register of Judiciary following interviews held on Monday. The commission interviewed seven candidates after examining the applications against the legal and constitutional conditions outlined. 
Former Chief Registrar Ann Amadi served for 10 years of service since January 2014. The Chief Registrar is tasked with preparing estimates of expenditure and administering judiciary fund. The office holder is also Secretary to Judicial Service Commission and the National Council for Administration of Justice. The Registrar is responsible for running day-to-day -day operations and administration of human resources in judicial service and supervising support services in judiciary in planning, in particular, development and organization of staff. For these and more, log on to www.capitalfm.co.ke. I'm Angela Wamboyi.